What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be taking an old bookshelf that we got from a friend who was moving out and didn't want it anymore and refurbishing it, giving a fresh coat of paint and new life to match our existing furniture. We still have some paint left over from our dresser project a couple of months ago, so it's definitely guaranteed to match. We're going to be using that to apply a fresh coat of paint to this. And I'm super excited about the amount of sanding as well as the amount of tools that we get to use for this project, so let's just get started. All right, now that we're down here, I just want to take a quick look at some of the imperfections that are on this bookshelf and make sure we capture those areas really good so that we have a nice finish at the end. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is it's a bit dirty. That'll go away with sanding. <laughs> um, they have a couple areas where the paint is a little bit smeared on, so we'll take care of those. There's another area where it's smeared on have a couple of scuff marks uh, just from overuse scuff marks and then you could just see some of the scuff marks from use so we'll see if we can get rid of those and that'll be the ultimate goal and I'm not sure how I want to handle this one yet I figure I don't want to replace this whole backing to it in order to replace that so I'll see if I can like put some tape on it and fill it up with some sanding dust and glue and see how that holds up uh, before we paint it. The back of it is just kind of all worn out. And we have a couple of nails here. We'll see what we want to do about taking those out and replacing them with new ones. So you can see this was where those dents were. Uh, I got them sanded to where they were smooth. You still have a little bit of an, of an edge there, but paint is gonna well fit that. 
and that's going to be totally fine. Um, everything along here has been pretty smoothed out. That's a nice smooth surface and I'm probably going to take uh, a little bit of a scratch up to it because I use like a 180 grit on the top art uh, at the very beginning which is too smooth so I'm going to go ahead and scratch this up with some 8060 and um, we'll get that done but this is the shelf this is the finished sanding stage of the shelf and all you gotta do is get the corners really First thing I want to address is this isn't the right mask and these aren't the right glasses, but they're what I have today. Um, I have to take off the back. I don't want to replace this whole backing to it. Uh, it, was, it started falling apart. Um, the nails weren't really in there very well. Plus, if I take off the back and just replace it, I can get into the back area with the sanding. So I'll take off some time for the sanding. I'll repaint everything with the back off and I'll leave nicer seams and then I'll place on a new back that also get painted. So that should be a little bit easier. I'll just get the new back for this. It's not, not too expensive particle board. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's what we're doing. We're looking for a backing for the, the bookshelf here. Um, it's just some particle board. Four foot by two foot section would be perfect for us. So something cheap, then that uh, can just look nice. So see what we can find. All right, here's where we are. We're going for the cheapest four by four. And I think that's gonna be this plywood section. So four four eighty. Pretty good. So we'll go there. So right now it's a 48 inch, I need it at 45 and a quarter. This is going to be one, two, three, minus four, two and three quarters. This.
Okay, no touchy. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Retracted. I, I made a mistake. Retracted. I'm sorry. I won't, I won't stop. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. It only took one can of paint in order to transform this bookshelf, give it new life, give it a brand new look, and match our existing furniture. So let us know if you're planning on doing any home decor transformations in the near future. Comment down below on some of your home decor transformations. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest updates on our fitness, finance, and family-centered goals. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's better the way you wrote it, so I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the sanding. The problem with pegboards. I wanna take a, a look at some of the imperfections just so we can make sure we hit those spots really good on this table. It's not a table, it's bookshelf. Oh, my God.